Libra. What's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Libra. Overall, Eight of Wands in reverse. So there is a lack of communication, a lack of a new beginning here. Okay, you are releasing yourself from a situation there is someone out here who is wanting to come towards you okay wanting to take a leap of faith but i feel for a lot of you you are releasing yourself from a situation that you feel very stuck tied and bound to okay and uh, things aren't really moving forward which is why you're just like choosing to get out of a situation which is keeping you very stuck restricted all right all this while you felt there was no way to go all this while you felt that probably this was the only one for you or there was nothing else but now you're just moving forward okay releasing yourself okay so what's the end of wants and reverse there's a lack of communication at least for now hmm. so there is a person out here who wants to communicate with you who wants to come towards you make you an offer this is an offer of something very stable secure committed out here all right this person wants to take a leap of faith with you like i said but they lack the confidence to come towards you you're dealing with someone out here who probably wants your attention all right or someone out here who's been an attention seeking whore is what i'm getting out here they are missing your attention they want success with you they want to move forward with you but because things didn't work out in the past it's like they have a lot of self-doubt okay like what are the chances that it'll work out again yeah so <clears throat> like i said this person out here <coughs> this uh they definitely want to come back towards you all right but they don't have the confidence that you will take them back so i'm getting a lot of arrogance also okay over inflated egos is what i'm getting out here they're holding back communication on purpose all right all right now in the past out here we have the four of cups in reverse so there was a lot of remorse and regret that you let go because something you considered was a missed opportunity okay where you probably felt there was a lack of attention you know you didn't get the love and attention that you deserve from someone maybe someone kept breadcrumbing you gave you bits and pieces to stay around in the connection let's see four of cups in reverse There was a lack of a, a new beginning here. There was no commitment. And you just had to walk away because something was just not worth it, right? There was negative communication. This person kept you. Pro probably this person cheated on you. <coughs> I can see a third party situation out here. But you just release yourself, okay? You no longer wanted to stay in a situation where, this, where you know, the painful memories, okay, where someone has made you feel betrayed or cheated and lied to you didn't want to stay in that situation anymore okay for you it's like it is what it is all right there's no commitment out here this person has cheated on me there was a third party situation here there's negative communication there's a lot of mind games out here i'm out all right that's what you did now coming right now the current situation here i do feel for a lot of you you are releasing a big burden out here okay so in the past emotionally you were trying to disconnect okay emotionally you disconnected yourself from this person right now i feel that now something maybe uh, this person kept coming back to you is what i'm getting out here now i'm getting someone out here who is literally releasing a burdensome overwhelming situation okay because something's become too much of a load okay it's become like super unbearable and you have released that situation let's see and why is that let's see why is the ten of wands in reverse You wanted commitment with this person out here. All right. You wanted commitment. There was a very strong spiritual connection with this person out here. But you just gave up. You surrendered. You had no longer inner strength. You no longer could hold on to a situation. You put in your all. Okay. I'm getting for a lot of you. Even if this person had a lot of love for you, they cared for you. But ultimately, you were the one who had to put in the work. You were the one who already always had to, you know, uh, take up a, a lot of responsibilities when it came to this connection. You know, so either for a lot of you, there was a breakup, a separation. And for the others of you, there could have been an ending of a marriage. Okay. And uh, so there were a lot of lessons learned is what I'm getting. But then ultimately, you just had to let it go. And the reason you had to let it go is because you were probably dealing with a player. You were dealing with someone who was very easy come, easy go, very in and out of your life. Someone who was just not serious about the connection. Okay. They probably had a lot of other options. They kept you, uh, you know, they were very non-committal. Knight of Wands in reverse. No, I'm sorry. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Who is this Knight of Wands? Definitely someone who is just not serious about commitment. You know, very passionate energy. They come in, you know, with a bang and then they would get what they want and leave. Knight of Wands, please. <clears throat> yeah. 
you're dealing with someone out here who definitely had a lot of options okay a lot of choices a lot of options out here there was an imbalanced situation where this person took advantage of your feelings they took advantage of your generosity there's someone out here who gives and gives and gives and gives you were bending over backwards to accommodate to this person's needs you know making this person feel very secure but this person did none of that okay all they did is kept you uh, waiting and kept you uh, you know very confused and you were always thinking about where you stood in this person's life or where you were at or you know they always made you wait for other for, for a lot of attention and love you know they just kept you choosing and kept you guessing second guessing yourself about are we together are you know is this moving forward is this a connection what's happening what are we you know so it kept making you they kept making you question yourself all right but i do feel that this is someone out here who probably was uh, it kind of made you feel very isolated you know i feel this made you feel very very isolated you felt very lon lonely is also what i'm getting okay now uh, on your mind okay just to set my cards for you <clears throat> on your mind you are releasing a connection because like i said you're feeling very lonely clap for the five of pentacles in reverse yeah it is a situation that i i think a lot of you are moving towards new love you guys are moving towards new love this is a uh, a situation where once you had a lot of happiness you wanted this fairy tale ending with this person but instead of making you happy it started draining you out emotionally okay and only because you were dealing with someone who was very inconsistent one moment they are there the next moment they are not they very uh, good with their words they are very good with their emotions so when they come in they sweep you off your feet and once they're done with that once they get obsessed with you you know they're there and the moment they're bored or the moment you know they, they they're losing interest they walk away you know for that those of you could be dealing with someone out here who didn't want to be emotionally vulnerable okay so they would say all the best things it would seem so good to be true you almost assumed a fairy tale ending with them but they keep withdrawing at the end moment okay so what you're doing is you're releasing yourself from this person and choosing self love and for others of you you're moving towards new love okay you're manifesting new love in your life because you don't want to stay in a place where you feel abandoned and you feel rejected subconsciously i do feel uh, what's the 7 of wands in reverse let's see why is the 7 of wands in reverse yeah yeah and one more card please 7 of wands in reverse one more card Yeah, you're fed up of waiting for this person. You're fed up of waiting for someone out here who you gave it your all. You gave this person your all is what I'm getting out here. Okay, but this person came off to be non-communicative. This person turned out to be a complete asshole. They were not communicating. They weren't making a decision. They had to use their head and make a logical choice. They weren't doing that. You know, there was no clear communication. There was no truth. So you're cutting this person off for good. No matter how much you love this person, you're holding back the love. okay i feel you're holding back the love but you're choosing to withdraw all your investment from someone out here who's kept you on hold for a very long time you've been longing for this person waiting for things to move on to the next level but guess what it didn't happen all right so you fought and fought and fought for this connection but now you're just giving up okay because this person out here a is very manipulative okay uh, they tend to abuse their power they tend to abuse their position they tend to take advantage of the person they tend to manipulate the other person okay because you're dealing with someone who's very very intelligent okay could be another aquarius libra gemini uh, but again i do feel for a lot of you you do have the love for this person out here you do all right but uh, i feel that you have mastered your emotions you've mastered your emotions and you've come to a realization where it's wiser and it's best not to open up about your emotions and keep it to yourself okay because this person out here is always up to no good all right there's a lot of nonsense from this person and you're like i'm fed up so there's a lot of giving <coughs> giving up energy from your side Now what is happening in the future is that I do see an opportunity here okay where someone wants to come towards you with an opportunity could be a new person could be the old person we'll find out clarify the page of pentacles I feel there's someone out here who wants to have an opportunity with you this person here is daydreaming about you wanting to reach out to you but I do feel they're still daydreaming they're still fantasizing they're still they're wanting to uh, <clears throat> invest into you 
all right wanting to take things to the next level here but there's a lot of procrastination life has a page of pentacles one more card page of pentacles yeah see there is love coming in but guess what <clears throat> there's love coming in guys but <laughs> you are not in it you're just not interested guys there is love coming in and for a lot of you you're going to have a choice and the choice is going to be do you want old love or do you, do you want this old person back who is ready to approach you or do you want someone new but you are not approachable guys libra you're not approachable at all you're going to be so bitter by the time this person comes in right there is an opportunity here where the things are going to be in your favor there is going to be the wheel is going to be turning in your favor luck is going to be on your side and there is this person who's coming back around here so guys what i'm getting here is that there is someone out here who is coming back around okay this person out here is going to come towards you with a new opportunity here um very immature person out here so if you're looking for a straightforward commitment i'm not going to be uh, letting you get your hopes up it won't be commitment but it is a new opportunity this person here you have a lot of chemistry with okay uh, they are wanting to be loyal this time around here okay they're wanting to invest their time into you they're putting their energies into you they're trying to turn their uh, entire dream into reality of wanting to take things in the next level with you all right but um the thing is that what i don't like is that they're still coming back unchanged when i say unchanged is they're still not ready to change their approach change the way they have been approaching the situation with the death in reverse out here someone who you've had an ending with you may have ended things with them but they are not letting you go okay so there's this this connection is closed from ending dealing with someone out here who's very toxic okay so they want to do the same thing over and over again very rigid someone who resists a lot of changes okay till they don't make that change in them they are going to try and keep repeating the cycle and they're going to keep you in the slow okay so be very very careful about whenever you get communication from this person out here okay so yeah and i had three calls in between of the reading so there are a lot of delays out here okay three times i have not had this in any reading i have three calls in between and i was i had to do your reading in bits and pieces so there are a lot of delays so you need to wait up a little more before this communication comes in all right and hopefully they hopefully they'll change or hopefully they have changed when they come back okay so what i'm getting out here is that this person out here now wants to offer you a lot more than they did in the past they want to take a leap of faith but it's the lack of confidence and that uh, change of approach which is still in their existing energies okay so if you're waiting for your ex to come back there they are all right so i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye